What's happening, guys? I'm going to do some Deadpool 2 spoiler talk for a minute. And I would call it a review, but I'm kind of staying away from that and just calling it spoiler talk because that's all it pretty much is. Not necessarily reviewing saying whether it's good or bad, but if I like it enough to talk about it, then it's good. With that being said, you've been warned. Spoilers, whatever. Man, like just getting into it, like that first opening scene with <laughs> Deadpool like having Wolverine like impaled like the same scene from Logan like the little uh spin around I don't know what you call it when you spin it and it's, uh, the music comes on but that little toy with Logan like impaled just like from the end of Logan the movie like I just thought that was just just incredible the way they do that and there's a lot of tie-ins in the movies tying to other stuff and I think that's what makes a lot of the jokes in the film really hit when he tells them, because you can recall, okay, that's what that goes to. Even if it's not another comic book movie or even straight from the comics, it just is great. And the fact that Juggernaut, I mean, there was a rumor on the internet about Juggernaut being in the movie, but I feel like they kept that hidden pretty well. And I think part of that is kind of to to go with the whole Infinity War, just, just taking over the internet, but I feel like they hit that pretty well to where people had their assumptions that he may be, but even still, when you saw it in the movie, he was like, okay, yeah, that's that's the Juggernaut. And that was actually the Juggernaut, as big as he was. And I feel like even with that, the CGI could have been a little bit better with the Juggernaut, but still, with that being said, he is the best Juggernaut that we've gotten on screen to date. But yeah, as far as like the Juggernaut, man, like, the Juggernaut being the one of the main villains for the film, I I really liked the choice of seeing Juggernaut. But like when it really when it actually came down to it, and the truck uh, when the truck fell through the bridge or whatever, when he punched in the ground, fell through the bridge, like when he actually came out there and it was the Juggernaut, I was thinking to myself like, mm, who, who's gonna stop this guy? Like who that's in this this movie is actually gonna stop this guy? Like even Colossus, like I'm, I'm thinking like, well, this this is the juggernaut, like the, the actual juggernaut, you know what I'm saying? And it's not like you're, you know, you're gonna take his power or anything like this, like in the comics, whatever, but it's like in a in a fight between the two, I I would go for juggernaut. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 wild because yo, no, when when he stood up and <laughs> Domino seen him and she was just like And she got out of there, man, like that, that was just, that was just gold right there. But yeah, like as far as like, even Colossus versus Juggernaut, I was like, this dude is the Juggernaut, like he cannot be stopped. <laughs> like, at least not by anybody really here in this film. You know what I'm saying? And and like I mentioned before, like different, you know, there's different versions of Colossus in the comics. Nah, bro, not, 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 not in this movie. Like I, I just didn't see him actually beating the Juggernaut, so. The the crazy thing is though, they they worked it in to actually make it help, like make it make it work out with <laughs> with them defeating him, which was mad crazy. It's like once once the pants got ripped, man, you already know what was going to happen, man. It was just like, man, oh man, no, oh, man, oh man, yeah, that happened. But <laughs> yeah, man, like I I really would like to see them. Uh, continue to to move things forward with bringing more characters like that done the right way because cgi colossus has to be cgi juggernaut has to be cgi you you can't like practical i don't know what they was thinking man like with the practical like stuff and even with the cgi on colossus before like the size it just wasn't colossal man so even rewinding rewinding back like the whole story arc between Deadpool and Vanessa, I felt like, to me, just watching it, it just felt like it was one of those things like, okay, we gotta put this in there to kind of make it, to appeal to those people who feel like they've got to have some type of love arc throughout the film. I mean, I didn't mind it, but I'll kind of say, if that's something you gotta have in it to just to, to, to please like a broad audience or whatever, I feel like they incorporated it well to the way it came through full circle towards the end of the movie. You know, if that's something you had to have. But 
yeah, overall with that, like even the scenes where he would uh, where he would try to die and he would see her, like in my mind, it kind of took me back to the whole Deadpool, Thanos, Mistress Death kind of thing going on. And <laughs> I mean, that's where my, my mind went aside from, you know, it actually being Vanessa in the movie or whatever. But I'll say even <laughs> like with, with everybody in the film, man, X-Force, X-Force, man, like like me, as far as when I think of X Force, I go all the way back to the '90s. I want to like the 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 original X Force team on there. But at the same time, I gotta get this off my chest, man. Like Shatterstar, I was so happy to to, to see Shatterstar, and not just that, but him mention in the you know the interview or whatever to be on the team for him to mention the Mojo Verse. I was just like, okay, okay. There's possibilities for other people like Longshot, you know, and Spiral. And, you know, my mind was just going everywhere when he said that. And of course, Mojo. But when he said that, man, and then <laughs> when it actually came down for them jumping out the plane and Shatterstar just got juiced in that helicopter, I was like, man, that was Shatterstar, man. How you gonna kill him so quick? <sighs> and I, I, I really was mad, like, I felt anger. I felt anger when he, when Shatterstar got juiced, man. And like, it was like green, like juice. It was like a mango kale smoothie kind of thing going on. But even with that, man, like I, I truly felt mad, but you know, the way the movie actually ended in the post credits and everything, him going back in time and fixing a lot of stuff. I, at that point I forgave, but for a while through that third act, I was just thinking like, man, you, you, you really play with my emotions, bringing Shatterstar in and just killing him like that. You know, not even thinking about the rest of the X-Force team, but just Shatterstar. My mind was just stuck on Shatterstar. Yeah, my my star, my heart was shattered. All of it, man, it was, it was hard. Yeah. But yeah, you have other things like uh, uh, Zazie Beats playing Domino. I liked her as Domino. Going into it, you know, originally, I did a video talking about her being cast as Domino. And I, 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 it was a lot different. I would have never chose her just out of somebody asking me who would play Domino. But with her playing the character, I, I liked her take on Domino. You know, as far as the, the way she delivered it for the story arc in the film, I liked it. And that makes me think of another thing too, as far as talking about Shatterstar and how <laughs> I wanted more Shatterstar in the film. But as far as that too, him, with him mentioning the Mojo verse, the Mojo verse, and also my mind also going to uh, Longshot, and <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure the reason why we wouldn't necessarily have a film with Longshot and Domino is because their powers are very similar. So uh, with Domino, her mutant power being luck, and with Do with uh, with Longshot, a lot of people say that his power is luck. But if I recall correctly, like back in the '90s. On the back of one of those collector cards, those Marvel, like the actual trading cards, it explained his power, not necessarily as luck, but more so him calculating odds to work in his favor. Versus with Domino, things would actually be manipulated into a domino effect to work towards her favor. So it's similar, but a little different. One's calculating and one's actually manipulating circumstances. But yeah, long shot. I, I would like to see long shot someday, one day, but um, who knows if we'll get that. Man, like, and another thing too, the <laughs> when they're in the X mansion, and you know, it's, it's always this running joke from since Deadpool 1. You know, one of the jokes that stuck with a lot of us for the longest time is with Deadpool talking about, like, man, like, what's y'all didn't really have the budget to have more X Men in this film? Like, <laughs> there's only two of you in the whole mansion. And not only did we get, you know, an extra X-Men with them, but we also got that one scene in the mansion, he's rolling around in Professor X's chair. And when he's talking all that junk, like Professor X in the actual team, the, the actual team is in the room, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, everybody is actually in that room behind him. Like just to see them for that quick moment, and they didn't have any lines or anything like that in the film, but just to see them for that quick second, it was like, okay, now that's, yeah, you did it. You did it in this one. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to necessarily incorporate all of them to have parts in the film. And I would have liked to get Wolverine more in the film than what we got in the post credit. But uh, from what it looked like, they just kind of edited that in. Like Hugh Jackman really didn't have to show up or anything. But 
for, for what it was in that moment, it was very fulfilling just to see them in that room. And then just for that quick moment before B shut the door, like that was very satisfying. Another thing, uh, let me see, Josh Brolin is cable. Yeah, he, man, he's killing it, man. He has got so many <laughs> movies going on right now, you know, aside from Infinity War, like pretty much the biggest film ever. I think it's like second, like number two right now, uh, as far as like opening, opening weekend. But yeah, uh, him as Cable, it worked. And I love the reference that Deadpool made as far as <laughs> him not being tall, like in the comics. And he's like, what, 5'10 or something like that. But it, just him saying that, it just makes you think of those instances where you hear about somebody and the story, you know, makes them either taller than what they really are. That, like that little joke, that little fourth wall joke, just, it just kind of made it more uh, real in a sense or anything, if that, that makes any sense. Kind of like an urban legend kind of thing. But yeah, man, like it was, it was a lot I liked about this film. It was it's a lot, it's a lot. Uh, so like, yo, like the puns and the humor in this film, like they are so, they are so like borderline offensive in so many cases, man. It's like, there's no whole bars, man. And it's, it's the thing with that type of, of comedy, like for one thing, you know, Deadpool, he, he has no filter. And when you kind of get where uh, somebody's coming from, when they say certain things, like, okay, yeah, like, well, I get it. Well, he says this, he says that, I kind of get where you're coming from. But I can I can easily see like certain people hearing some of those things and just being like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. Or what did he mean by that? Um, not necessarily that I'm gonna repeat exactly what they were here. I ain't trying to get demonetized in this video, nothing like that, but it's like, I like that they they pushed the envelope and, and kind of just just went there with a lot of stuff. Some stuff a little further than I would have. <laughs> I, I would have, you know, if I was in the position to make the decision, I'd be like, well, that's a little too far. But they did it like really no fear, man. And that, that was, yeah, I I, I I can appreciate that from from uh, just the viewpoint of a consumer. Like I appreciate you guys really pushing the envelope. But the way that the film ended in the post credits, the way they went down, it's like. They're <laughs> like the post credits, man. Like, come on, like with with uh, with Deadpool having Negasonic uh, teenage teenage Negasonic Warhead. I can't even get a name right. But when he had her fix the time machine and he went back in time and he went to X Men Origins <laughs> and killed the Deadpool from that movie, that was crazy. And like I said, I don't think that was like Hugh Jackman doing anything extra. It's just footage from that film cut in. And then, you know, he did his part standing on the other side because Wolverine's hand wasn't moving with the claws sticking out. So it looked like he was there or they were actually interacting. But with him doing that and then killing Green Lantern, oh my God, like he, he just undid all of that. And I heard, I don't know how true it is, but I heard that he almost got Chris Evans to come back as <laughs> the human torch for a post credit scene. I don't know how true that is, but that just that would have been insane to actually have Chris Evans play that role. But yeah, man, that was like one of the craziest post credit scenes that I've seen in a film, man. It was wild. It was wild. And I also like too in the third act where, where Deadpool had the, the debris from the fire and the dust all over him and his costume was actually black and gray, more like your X-Force costume. Like I really liked how they kind of put that in there. You know, and I feel like they did that intentionally, you know what I'm saying? But to actually see that, and we, we saw some footage online of the, the suit that was actually that color. Cause you know, when they film the movie, they have a number of different suits that they wear for different scenes and different lighting. But to actually see the, him in that gray and black, it, it was nice. But let me know your guys' thoughts. If you've seen the film yet, let me know down in the comments what you think, what was your favorite part? We'll chop it up. But hit me up in the comments and we'll do it again on the next one. All right, later.